The altar shaft is constructed from approximately 140 pieces of thin maple veneer. And the reason why we use so many pieces of veneer is because it builds a much more consistent shaft. When we talk about shaft consistency, it's how consistent it reacts to how it's positioned as you strike the cue ball. Veneer is a very thin piece of wood. This is hard maple veneer. It's all been rotary cut. Rotary cutting is where they take the log on its side and they basically peel it. So it's like peeling a piece of paper off of the log. This veneer is about 26 thousandths of an inch thick, so it's very thin. And the advantage of using rotary cut veneer is in that peeling process, it's very stress relieving. So one of the causes of movement in a wood shaft is stress in the piece of maple. The veneering process eliminates a lot of that. This is the first stage where it's pressed together. We use a special adhesive and we take a series of veneer that's been all color matched and sorted to create a more consistent colored shaft. And it's put under high pressure. So this billet has, was put under approximately 250 pounds per square inch. And that high pressure makes for a very strong uh, bond on the veneer. This billet then is cut into these slabs where the veneer is all positioned on its side throughout this, this billet. This is then cut into a series of wedges. It's made of eight wedges. They get glued together and rolled and wrapped. And this creates the raw blank. From this point, we then start a seasoning process. The seasoning process is where we take this raw blank and we start giving it small cuts where we start putting the taper of the final shaft. And it gets a series of small cuts over a long period of time to help reduce any additional stress that may be in the material. Also, it helps it get to a certain moisture content based on our shop conditions. Once it's turned near final size, then we start performing all the machining operations to add the joint collars on the back end. We use a special gun drilling process on this front end where we core the front end of the shaft to reduce its front end weight. That also helps reduce the cue ball squirt when you apply left and right English. After this front end has been cored, then we install the ferro in the tip. This is a high dex ferro material and a Tiger Everest tip. This is a very good medium to a medium soft tip. It's probably one of the most consistent tips that we use. The shaft is then clear coated on the, the end and the logo is put on. And the shaft's final step is it's, each shaft is hand polished uh, where we use a special uh, polyurethane finish and a carnauba wax so it creates a very smooth final finish. If you need help deciding what the best shaft is for your game, contact us at Jacoby Custom Cues and we'd be more than happy to help.